check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. A lights out steel cage match. Mm, unsanctioned. Very much unsanctioned. No one would sanction this. Hangman Page versus Swerve Strickland. Hangman now has the best Tron ever. It's just a big, giant, wide panoramic shot of him sitting back in his rocking chair. Probably got it at Cracker Barrel. Sipping his whiskey. And behind him is just this inferno. <laughs> just this blaze. He does have the best entrance in all of AW. Yeah, yeah, Between yeah. the song and the fire. Yeah. Fire's a big part of it. Yes. So Swerve comes out. And just in case you uh, weren't clear how this is going to go, he's dressed all in white with pictures of the fire all over the gear and also on one knee pad the kill shot logo from from lucha underground in the hell of war match which is now among the most violent matches i've seen this man have i'm not even sure where it ranks anymore so the first thing they do is they're supposed to do a cage match this is ridiculous the cage begins to lower swerve jumps hangman before it's down there and tries to hold him down so the cage will cut off hangman's head yeah, so I've mentioned a thousand times, the Tony Khan character yes. is a fucking lunatic, a bloodthirsty maniac. So when Swerve was trying to decapitate Hangman with the cage coming down from the ceiling, they're trying to kill each other. Did Tony Khan say, well, it's like, stop, don't lower that cage. Don't want to kill anybody. Nope. He's like, keep it going. <laughs> keep that cage descending. Let's see what happens. And luckily they got out of there. No, no one was squished by the cage or decapitated no. by the cage. Yeah, yeah. So in the meantime, as the cage was lowering, uh, Nana was throwing all sorts of weapons into the ring. The cage is full of weapons. And for no real reason, and by the end there was no, re no real reason, the cage had what appeared to be heat lamps at the top. There's glowing red lights everywhere. Probably he something to, like using some sort of light to kill bacteria. <laughs> That's possible. That's possible. So Hangman tries to use a staple gun. Swerve laughs off all these staples in his tries. chest. Tries. The first thing they do is he starts stapling this fucking okay, gun. I, I guess he, he successfully used it. Yes. But it did not work. Swerve just la well, it worked. Swerve just laughed at him, though. Well, then it didn't work. But he's, he's got fucking staples the all over. The goal was to hurt Swerve. Well, Swerve I know, but the hurt. gun worked. So it didn't work. Well, Swerve no soul. That regardless, hurt. regardless, it hurt more when uh, it hurt Hangman yes. when Swerve stapled him in the back. They're both bleeding everywhere already. Swerve has his old family photos. He staples them to Hangman's chest and face. His fucking face. Yeah. Tony Schiavone <laughs> says... He gets, his, he gets his staple gun and he's like stapling shit to his face and then he rips it off the face and Hangman's like bleeding all over and Swerve's got staples and he pulls some out and they're bleeding. They're fucking bleeding everywhere. And literally in the background, okay? In the background, the referee's standing there and I can't even... I can't even begin to be as calm as a referee as he just reaches into his pocket, puts on a glove, <laughs> reaches in, puts on another glove. It was funny because of how calm he was. I was just thinking, why do you put on a fucking glove when they showed the video of Hangman with the fire? Like, what the fuck did you wait for? You thought there was going to be no blood in this match, brother? Mm. Well, there was. Lots of it, it turns out. Tony Schiavone says, completely serious, he burned down the man's house. And it was a nice house. That's what he said. Which is funny for like 18 different reasons. It wasn't a nice house. We saw it. And more to the point, even if it's not nice, it's still the guy's house. <laughs> he burned down the house. It's, whether it's nice or not, it's irrelevant. So Hayman brought in some barbed wire. He uses that for a while. Swerve is dripping blood out of his forehead. Like a pro, he's sure to get it all over his white wrist tape and his white gear and the mat, powder blue mat. So Hayman, I don't know if he's ever been in a cage match before. He goes to the apron to go for the buckshot and realizes, God damn, there's a cage right here. I can't do my move. Yeah. <laughs> Never tried it again. I wonder if he knew that. I don't know. I don't know if that's the plan or not. He grabs a chair, the biggest, well, I can't say the biggest, but uh, the, the most illogical part of this match was when Heyman grabs a chair and the referee tries to stop him. Now, there's a reason for this because they want to do a spot where Swerve flipped off the ref's back and hit a move, but they botched that spot. So even the payoff for this was dumb. So Swerve grabs this chair and just absolutely destroys Hangman with it. Just swinging it through the man's spine. Ref lets him. He's fine with, he's fine with using the chair now. In a spot where he wedges the chair in the ropes and lawn darts Hangman into the chair. 
Heyman goes flying forward, head hits chair, body drops, hits the bottom rope, bounces up, and then back down. <laughs> I am so bitter, by the way. I just learned the press conference is already over. What? Not one wrestler <laughs> came out. Tony came out and talked a little bit, and he said, I need to go deal with business in Miami. You know, the murders? Yeah. Like, son of a bitch. The one fucking press conference I don't go to, it's already over. God damn it. I was there till 12 o'clock in fucking Wembley. I remember. And I had to go I'd drive an hour to get to the studio. Yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, over in the corner, there's one big plastic crate. Big, big mystery in there. Hangman goes to open it, and they're making what's in the box jokes. I'm thinking about seven, and I'm thinking, you know, Hangman does love his wife. Fortunately, it was not that. It was a cinder block instead. And as we mentioned earlier, a shoot cinder block. And he sets this thing down in the ring, and they tease various methods of dropping each other onto the cinder block. In the end, they go with a cop killer, or uh, what did Hurricane call it? The... Uh, Vertebraker. Vertebraker, vertebraker. Yeah, why the fuck do you think it's called that? Well, he broke a vertebrae here, that's for sure. You guys realize that in like 1992, Rick Rude broke his back because he bumped on the edge of a ramp? Yeah. These guys took power bombs, fucking vertebrakers, on a s edge of a cinder block. Yep. Don't do that. No, it's incredibly insane. And like I, when they started to drop, I was like, oh, good. His head's going to miss the cinder block. That's good. But then this, his, his lower back hit the corner of the cinder block, the edge, the razor sharp edge of the cinder block. His back is just shredded a it's fucking bit. It's all scraped up. And again, the cinder block did not break, everyone. For those of you who no. think this was, was a gimmicked cinder block somehow, it's fine. It tore the man up. Even if it's lighter than a typical cinder block, if you fall on it and it doesn't bend, that's just as bad. So, a table gets set up. And Swerve stomps Hangman through the table for a two count. That's where I knew Hangman was winning. Because he had just been taking 80% of the damage up to this point. And I thought there was no way he's going to take all this damage and then lose. He pulls out a burned cinder sharpened to a point from the burned down house. Yeah. Which of all the things, it was a piece of wood. But goddamn, the fans looked at this. I don't know if the fans knew what it was. Like, the announcers told us. I think the fans thought it was like a, a shoot knife. I thought it was a knife at first. Yeah. An actual bladed weapon. Yeah, it was a piece of wood. Yeah, yeah. They so, stabbed him a bunch. They, 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 they did the Tully Magnum spot and then played off that and sort of jabbed him in the face a bunch. And then Swerve looks down at the piece of wood from his childhood home and begins to weep. I guess that's better than weeping over a bracelet. But that is yeah, a little bit better. Down the, down the same path. So, Hangman hits a low blow, and they tease it for a long time, and he grabs this swerve fella and lifts him in the air, and I'm internally begging, please don't do anything. And you know what? Have him jump over the back behind you. So was Swerve, because he didn't go all the way up on the first try. <sighs> he probably got halfway up and thought, oh shit, fuck. God damn it. But he went up on the second try. And they power bombed him onto the cinder block. Cinder block on the lower back. And I've watched this several times trying to think, well, maybe, like, if you do this at a, such an angle where, like, your shoulders hit first and then maybe, like, your ass falls in the cinder block, it would be not that bad. And I keep wanting that to be what's happened, but that's not what happens. He just lands on the fucking block. Yeah. Whew. So uh, he comes back from this. It's a powerbomb into the cage. Hangman's down on the ground facing the cage. His back's in the ring. Swerve does the house call. Mirko Krokop never kicked anyone this hard. No, he fucking kicked this guy in the back of the head so hard. His head ricocheted into the steel cage. I was pretty certain that he was dead. But somehow he kept going. Uh, he does keep going. He's two of those and kicks out. So Swerve looks up like he's going to climb to the top of the cage. But Hangman follows him up there. Does the, uh... Thank God. No, no, nobody jumped off the top of the cage. Although, taking this awesome bomb, as they called it, the, the, uh, super bomb, whatever you want to call it, the power bomb where the guy delivering the move is standing on the top rope. Yes. Big enough bump on its own. After a guy's, the same guy's already been power bombed onto a cinder block. Yeah, but Swerve was going for a stomp, and then he looked up top, and I thought, a Swerve stomp off the cage is literally the exact move that Edge did yes. and mangled his foot to hell. Right. 
Don't do that. Don't do that. He did he not do that. To thank God. He bangled us back to hell instead. Yeah, he did crazier shit. In a way. In a way. So, uh, from that point, it's all over but the crying. And uh, it's just a matter of how long Swerve can last before Hangman finishes him off. Deadeye gets to... Hangman starts to smack him with a chair, demands he beg for mercy. Swerve initially laughs this off and gets to his feet, but then just collapses. He's done. You see him put something into his mouth, and then Hangman promptly yanks out the grill. Goes to the corner, pulls out, pulls out a hypodermic needle. Yeah. Jabs it into his flesh. I think they really, really bad wanted to come all the way out the other side. I don't think it I ever did. I don't think it went all the way through his cheek, but it definitely was stuck in there because he let go and it stayed there. He let go and it stayed there and swerves hanging there with his mouth open and a needle hanging out of his cheek. That definitely happened. And honestly, as absolutely horrific as this was, it probably hurt less than most of the shit in this match. I mean, it's a very, very pointy, pointy needle. Very sharp needles do not hurt. Yes. As someone who but is... it fucking is crazy. Yeah. What, what are we doing here? And then with a needle in his mouth, Hangman grabbed, I'm sure, one of those gimmick chairs, but... You know, I, I, I've said this before. I talked to someone who's handled one of those shaved down chairs. Mm. And they were like, still a fucking steel chair, dude. Like, it's shaved down, but that's still a steel chair. Fucking murdered this guy with a chair shot to the head, and the referee stopped it. So when they did this live, during the chair shot, there's at least two, maybe three or four camera cuts, just to make sure the whole thing's not very clear. Uh, there are now shots online from the arena, fan cams and stuff. And they had gimmicked the chair so like the seat would give way when he made contact. So it's, it's supposed to break, essentially. So just don't hit each other in the head with metal shit. No. That's going to be like a, a a universal rule of thumb. No. Yeah. Hits him with it. The good news is it was the finish. Didn't even pin him. Ref stoppage. KO. Hangman's fine with this. Fans are fine with this. They're happy it's over. Hangman wins. But his win does not count because it's unsanctioned. Pretty sure this one count. I mean, I mean, they don't have records anymore. That's Hang, actually Eggman was the winner. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, you know, ninety nine point nine nine percent sure that you ain't gonna see Hangman on Wednesday. You ain't gonna, or I'm sorry, Swerve. You ain't gonna see him on Wednesday. You ain't gonna see him on Saturday. I don't think you're gonna see him for quite a while. I think this was, uh, I think this was the beginning of a hiatus for this guy. So they did it in the way that they did it, and uh, we'll see where he is when he returns. But I cannot rate this match. I will not. It was one of a kind. Nobody should ever do anything like this again. These two shouldn't have done this, but they did, and it's over now. But, you know, they did give everyone, you know, something they will never forget. It was advertised as the blow-off to a deathmatch feud. They had a deathmatch deathmatch. And if you uh, paid 49.95 to see two men murder each other, well, you got your 49.95 worth. So that's all I'll say about that. It was one for the ages. That's for sure. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.